My Model 2 Mega Drive has returned. Oh, wait a minute. You're thinking, wait a minute. It has not been here for quite some time? Yep, there's a good reason why. Because I've sent this bad boy to my good friend, Retro Repair Bear, for some um, fix and some modifications to improve this finger beauty right here. So, um, what has he done to it? Well, first things first, the most important ones was... Um, the capacitors need to be replaced, so um, that's all been done. So got fresh new capacitors in there, so that is great. The power socket, which you can hit the um, the power um, plug into the back, um, was very loose. So I uh, had to flex a little bit to make it work. That was not very good, so um, that definitely needs to be replaced. Now for the mods. Now for one mod that I wanted for quite some time was the switchless region free. Uh, mod with the DFO essentially means that um, this thing now can play uh, not only just power games but also um, NTSC which is America and Japanese games so um, this is completely region free so that is excellent and the final kit I wanted us to install was the triple bypass some of you may not know what it is but I'll just a quick brief um, explanation basically it's a great little piece of board that you attach it to the um, several chips that it can actually improve the video and audio to as best it can be so basically the audio it sounds way better it sounds as good as the um the original model one mega drive slash genesis and the video especially rgb looks much better so all that has been installed into this bad boy and he gave it a good clean Basically, it looks like it was brand new when it opened in, um, last night. So, yeah, so that's all that all nicely done. Now, just to give a quick demonstration about the region free uh, mod, I'm going to turn this on like that. Now, you may notice the light in there is green because normally it's red if it's unmodded. This is in power mode, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the reset button like so. As you can see, that just turn orange that is the uh, Japanese mode and then we'll turn this on again like that that's in the American mode so there you go switch is free mod but thanks to Retro Repair Bear to respond to my Facebook uh, he also mentioned so you can actually do it with the controller what you're gonna do really is <clears throat> if you do this correctly you press a B and C and then start and as you can see it's actually circling on the um, the regions all by itself. So yeah, A, B, and C and start. If a few, about one point five seconds, it does that. So um, thanks, uh, Major Pair Bear, for letting me know about this. So um, that is really good information. So it proves that the mod does actually work. So for another demonstration, I'm going to show you to my C to my CRT TV and uh, play play a couple of games and then. Just to show you how good this thing is, so um, just give me a second. Right, for this test I'm going to use um, this multi-card here, the Mega Games 2. And uh, we're going to use Streets of Rage, because it will show you about the Region 3 uh, mod very, very nicely. So what I'm going to do is turn this on, as you can see, then green light, and straight away it works. Let's see if this works. I don't even know if you can hear about the audio, but that sounds much better than it was before. And the video quality, I mean, you can't see through the camera properly, but in naked eye, that it looks astonishing. Right, now we're going to turn this on. As you can see, it says Streets of Rage up there. So you can see. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to. Sorry, I'm going to move the camera. We're going to turn this off and then take this out just for safety's sake. Turn it on. And then we're going to use the controller to change the region mod. So we're going to change it to. Japanese, so you can see it's turned orange. So we're gonna turn this off, 
And then we'll put the ring back in. Turn it on. And then... There you go. And already you can hear the audio sounds a bit faster. And then we can pick on the streets of rage. And then the ratio of the TV screen has actually changed a bit as well. So, give us a second. Yep. And look at that already. That is in Japanese mode. That is excellent. But then we press start. As you can see, and again, you can't barely see a bit of screen, but it says bare knuckles. So, in fact, let's just uh, let's turn this back on. Yep, bare knuckles. So you see, the region free uh, mod works. So uh, that is absolutely fantastic. Right, so we're going to turn this off because now the Mega CD hasn't been modded yet, so we can't really do um, region free stuff on that just yet. Uh, just to give you a good demonstration. Uh, so we're going to put this back into uh, power mode, so I'm going to turn this on. And then we are going to put onto green, so you can see. And then uh, we are going to plug the uh, Mega CD back in because it was already unplugged. Now, uh, do you know what? I'm going to get a Mega CD game out, which is the one I recently got my hands on, and uh, Night's Trap. So um, I'm going to plug this in. Yeah. And uh, yeah, for those of you who never had a Mega CD, do not push the CDs in like you normally have done. Just um, just put it on there, close the lid, and that will do its job. Okay, so uh, let's turn this on. Move this up again, sorry. As you can see, it works. Let's just go for the intro screen a little bit. Yeah, so like I said, you can't really see for the um, well for the phone to be perfectly honest, but as you in in more naked eye, it looks absolutely fantastic. Even the audio sounds a bit better. So, there you go. That is my awesome bit Mega Drive um, demonstration. So, there you go. So, once again, big massive thank you to uh, Retro Repair Bear to um, make this thing possible. And uh, at some point, I'm definitely going to give him the uh, Mega CD to actually, you know, get the... Uh, uh, Basically, region free uh, chip installed and uh, various bits of bobs. But in the meantime, I can use this properly now. So that is fantastic. So um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, hopefully, you um, if you have got a model to make a drive, or any make a drive, no matter, if you want to do this kit, I would definitely recommend it. It is absolutely astonishing that you could do something like this. So, um, once again, thank you very much for watching this, and if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you like to see, you know, cool stuff like this. Um, in the meantime, I oh, have a good um, day, and I'll uh, see you the next time. Cheerio.